Now, now let's look at the sixth day. A man at the sixth level has the ability to convert people to his doctrine. You just read that, right? You got to understand. Yes, sir. He is powerful in his doctrine and not easily converted to another doctrine. The most high separates a man by carnal and spiritual. The spiritual prophet is sanctified on the third day, as we mentioned earlier. But the carnal man does not believe in the spiritual doctrine. He may know the doctrine, but not believe. All right. Mm. So we're going to see if we can't get some better understanding I'm going to go back to old Genesis 1 alright Genesis 1 ain't failed me yet so now it's two like you said like, like you was talking about it's two types of prophet one carnal and one spiritual right yes sir so that's how we going to read this he's saying something twice right one of it's gonna be carnal one of it's gonna be spiritual all right so we're gonna go to genesis 1 and 24 and we're gonna read down to 26. read that elder genesis chapter 1 and verse 24 Mm -hmm. and god said let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind. What what does living mean? Spiritual. Spiritual. So what is he explaining? Teachers. Read. Cattle and creeping thing Mm -hmm. and beast of the earth after his kind. So he just showed two different types right mm-hmm. and it was so alright verse 25 mm-hmm. and God made the beast of the earth after his kind so he's talking about a carnal beast right yes sir mm-hmm. and cattle after their kind mm-hmm. and every thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind so he just separated them y'all see that mm-hmm. one spiritual one car and god saw that it was good mm-hmm. verse 26 mm-hmm. and god said Let us make man in our image Mm -hmm. and in our image after our likeness Mm -hmm. and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea Mm -hmm. and over the fowl of the air Mm -hmm. and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth read so verse 27 mm -hmm. so god created man in his own image so now he's switching over to spiritual y'all said he making two types of problems this at the sixth day remember a person at the sixth day, he got understanding of both. Y'all see what he's doing? Mm. He just yes, showing you at the sixth day, because this is the sixth day that we're going over. Mm. All right. Read. In the image of God created he him. Mm-hmm. Male and female created he them. So men with doctrines. All right. Mm. Men with doctrines. Read verse 28. Mm-hmm. And God blessed them mm-hmm. 
And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply mm -hmm. and replenish the earth mm -hmm. and subdue it. So he's telling you, these prophets who at this sixth level, they got a lot of understanding. They able to do a lot of things. They able to be fruitful. They able to multiply with their doctrines, right? They able to replenish the earth. They able to subdue people with their teachings. Y'all see what's going on? Yeah. Yes, sir. Read. And have dominion over the fish of the sea. The other, the other, the other carnal prophets who don't have understanding at his level he's able to have dominion over them y'all see what's going on yes sir yeah if y'all don't tell me mm -hmm. y'all see it okay read and over the fowl of the air mm -hmm. and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth so a person who's at the sixth level has that level of understanding all right he's able to Can do a something? lot of yes you know what the last scripture that we just read it said mm -hmm. he put the fear on on all the animals right mm -hmm. all the beasts yeah that's the same fear that nathaniel had when he ran yes. in the building yes because it's like when you see animals they just run from you for no reason yes that's what <laughs> yes. he did because he know his doctrine wrong right but he's at the sixth level. He don't believe. Guess right. what people do whenever they see him? They worship him. They do the same yeah. thing. They do the same thing. They fear that man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. They ain't challenging yeah, yeah. him. <laughs> ain't nobody. That's the. That, that's what he's saying. He's telling you the difference between prophets, right? Yes, sir. A person at the sixth level, they know both, but they didn't convert at three. He didn't convert right. at three. We did. You see yes, what's sir. going on? That's what yes, separates sir. the prophets. Some of them believe they're the smartest man in the room. They're like a Jeopardy contestant. They know a lot of interesting facts. Right. But they don't believe nothing that, you know, <laughs> they don't have no, you know, loyalty or belief in that particular doctor even though they know well yeah he, you heard him sit up now let me give him let me, let me show him what the what the seed is give me luke 8 and 11 right quick now he usually yeah. doesn't do that yeah but now he's doing that because yeah. he knows that's the truth that's how you're supposed to do it but if he got to sit up in there and start talking about who the children of israel is he's gonna be the seed of abraham Isaac and Jacob. That means you got to be an Israelite under that lineage in order to get the king. All of a sudden, but don't trust in DNA, but right. don't trust in DNA though. Exactly. Y'all see how that goes? Up. That's how you tell mm -hmm. somebody who was who's a six 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 from the seven guy. <laughs> he telling you something, right? You just got to be able to see it. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so, start over, read again. <laughs> yes sir Genesis chapter 1 and verse 29 mm -hmm. and God said behold I have given you every herb bearing seed mm -hmm. that's just wisdom seed is the word mm -hmm. which is upon the face of all the earth mm hmm right and every and every tree tree is a prophet mm -hmm. in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed so he's got a doctrine read to you it shall be for meat so he's talking about you gonna get spiritual understanding and you gonna get carnal understanding because there's two types of meat you got the carnal meat and then you got the spiritual meat so they can get up in there and they can give you that carnal meat that say you know hey well you know the scorpion gives a dog on a machine gun sticking out the 
at the bottom of an airplane. That's a scorpion. You know, <laughs> when you could sit up in there and you could look and you say, is a scorpion a, a beast? Uh, yeah. No, right. If he got a team that, <laughs> if he got, <laughs> if he got a <laughs> <laughs> tell that bites. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, but if you sit up in there and you see he got a tail, is a tail a member? Yes. Yes. That mean that man got a document that stings. Stings. It was, yeah. It's a prophet. Stings. Again, <laughs> there's a carnal prophet <laughs> and there's a spiritual prophet. I could I could back mine up in the Bible. He got to go to Wikipedia or the History Channel or something like that to show you a picture. You understand? Yeah. So they yes, all sir. all the prophets have meat, but just because he got meat don't mean it's good for you. That's what uh what is the right. song of you no know, Proverbs twenty three. Somebody, if you sit at a man table, you better be, be careful what you eat. Mm -hmm. His dainty meats. Mm -hmm. The B-52 with the machine gun is a dainty meat. <laughs> Let's be clear. <laughs> man. Verse 30, going to read that, Elder. Yes, sir. Verse 30. And to every beast of the earth mm -hmm. and to every fowl of the air mm -hmm. and to every thing that creepeth upon the earth mm -hmm. wherein there is life yes I have given every green herb for meat He's talking about all and, of these doctrines that he's given to the prophets, right? Yes, sir. And it was so. Mm -hmm. Verse 31. Mm -hmm. And God saw everything that he had made. Mm -hmm. And behold, it was very good. Mm hmm. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. So he's telling you, a, a prophet at the sixth day, he's going to have power, understanding, wisdom of both the carnal and the spiritual. All right. Mm -hmm. This is a person at the sixth level is very powerful. All right. Oftentimes, the Most High uses three score or 60 to describe uh, this level of wisdom. That is the level Isaac was at when he created the doctrines of Jacob and Esau. Mm. All right. Go over here to. Are we talking about Esau, the black man? I heard that's coming. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, let's go to Genesis 25. We'll see. <laughs> we go to Genesis 25 uh, and 26. Well, we'll go to 25 and 25 first so you can see what it's talking about. Read that, Elder. Yes, sir. Genesis chapter 25 and verse 25. Mm -hmm. And the first mm -hmm. came out red mm -hmm. all over like an hairy garment. What's a garment? Covering, a doctrine. which is a doctrine. That's a doctrine. Read. And they called his name Esau. Esau is a doctrine. Is everybody clear on that? Huh? Yes. He's not. He's a not. garment yes. and a name is a doctrine. It's not because right. his blood shone through his uh <laughs> I could believe that. As soon as you give me a precept that says 
His blood shows through his skin. Oh. If you don't have a precept, <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's unacceptable. <laughs> well, <laughs> does the Zondervan count? <laughs> okay. For the whole man. So me, the prophet Zondervan, Zondervan, which one of these books in this Bible <laughs> the book of that I can go to yeah. about the book of Zondervan? Because <laughs> if it ain't in there, that means he's not ordained of the most high. Hey, uh, wisdom of Solomon 4 and 9. Okay. Wisdom of Solomon I'm 4 and 9. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> you to, don't seem to be able to understand that little part. I, I, I need something. Two or three, bro. <laughs> Two or three, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> wisdom of Solomon, chapter four and verse nine. But wisdom is the gray hair unto men. What hairy garment? Mm -hmm. Read that again. But wisdom is the gray hair unto men. Mm -hmm. And an unspotted life is old age there it is mm -hmm. life is life is the uh way true life that's a doctrine ain't it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so wisdom and life mean the same thing so mm -hmm. yeah hair is uh that's, that's a doctor right right so here's a it, w w was elijah a hairy man was he let's go to uh first kings i mean second kings one Okay. Let's get that. We'll go there, man. Uh, one and seven. We're going to read the eight. Was he Esau? The black man? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <Don't tell them. laughs> yes, sir. The Kings chapter one, verse seven. And he said unto them, What manner of man was he which came up to meet you mm -hmm. and told you these words? There was, there was, uh, they were debating. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Verse eight. And they answered him, He was an hairy man. Mm. And girt with a girdle of leather about his loins. Mm. Mm -hmm. Something you wear. And mm. he said, it is Elijah the Tishbite. The, t uh, the Israelite? No, 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 no. Oh, but I thought... The oh, Tishbite. The Tishbite. He's a hairy man. But mm. we talk about Elijah, yeah. Elijah as, a, as a prophet, right? Yes. Right. Didn't Christ follow Elijah? Yes. Did it yes. say right there? He said Israel. I didn't see that 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 land in Israel. Tishbite. No. Hmm. hmm. So they say that's a name. <laughs> Elijah is a doctrine. Mm -hmm. Right. Christ followed that same doctrine. He yes. brought up Elijah a lot. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here is your wisdom. Yes. So if he's a hairy man, then you go back to the uh, Genesis. Like where you at, Elder? Genesis Jesus. chapter 25 and verse 25. Mm -hmm. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Yes. And they called his name Esau. Yes. yes. He's a doctrine. This is right. describing a doctrine. Yes. And let's just go to... Uh, well, I'll do the, this other one here. Keep it a little funky. Keep it funky. Yeah. What's that one? <coughs> I'm trying to find that one in Psalms mm -hmm. explaining red. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to be red? Scarlet. Mm -hmm. Read that out. First Ezra chapter 5 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. Or unto them said Nehemiah and 
authorities. Authorities. Mm-hmm. Authorities mm-hmm. that they should not be partakers of the holy things mm-hmm. till there arose up an high priest clothed with doctrine and truth. Okay. So that's a garment. Y'all Every see that? Man. Clothed. He's calling doctrine and truth clothes. That's mm-hmm. a garment. Y'all see that? Not to be outdone. Let's go to group five. <laughs> Let's hammer it home. Since we're in the Apocrypha. You're in the Apocrypha. <laughs> Group what? Five and one and two. Baruch. Chapter five and verse one. Mm -hmm. Put off, O Jerusalem, the garment of mourning and affliction. That's That's the kind of doctor. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's that old bread of affliction. Yes, mm-hmm. that's right. The bread of adversity and the water of what is that water affliction. affliction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And put on the comeliness of the glory that wisdom. cometh from God forever. Glorious wisdom. Verse two. The doctrine. Mm-hmm. Verse two. Cast about be a double garment of righteousness mm. wow which cometh from God God is the spirit you gotta worship him the spirit and truth mm-hmm. hmm. and set a diadem mm-hmm. on thine head mm-hmm. doctrine of the glory of the everlasting wow yeah that's pretty much uh, that's kind of convincing Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sold. Yeah, got me. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah. I now mean, let's see more. how let's see how old uh let's see how old he was. <clears throat> yes, sir. Verse twenty Genesis chapter twenty five and verse twenty six. And after that came his brother out. Mm-hmm. And his hand Doctrine. took hold on Esau's hill. Doctrine. Mm-hmm. So j- j- his- j- uh, he's following Esau's doctrine. Mm-hmm. All right, read. And his name, Doctrine, was called Jacob. Jacob is a doctrine. Oh. The red, right? Isaiah one eighteen. Let's get to that. You found it. Okay. Yeah, I found one. Isaiah one eighteen. Uh-huh. <clears throat> That's the first one. Isaiah. Isaiah chapter one and verse eighteen. Come now, and let us reckon, reason together. Saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, sins scarlet red, mm -hmm. they shall be white as snow. Pure. Mm -hmm. Though they be red like crimson, yes, they shall be as wool. See, now we're showing Mm -hmm. you what the he's giving you a comparison. Mm -hmm. He said, "Your sins be as crimson." There's one in sun. Yes. That's what I was looking for. You said the red is the mix. Oh, I got it. Mixture. Is the red the defiled doctrine? Yes, yes that's the sin. Yes. Psalm 75 the and 8. Okay. Yep, there it is. Yes. Psalm 75 okay. and 8. All praise in the most high. Sometimes you may not have a, you got to know what the words say inside the description. That's how it will bring you <laughs> to it. Yeah, you got to understand <laughs> syntax. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said seventy-five and four. Seventy-five and eight. Eight. Okay. This Just is the I... red. This is the red people. Yes. Psalms chapter seventy-five and verse eight. Or in the hand 
of the Lord. Gotcha. There is a cup. Yes. And the wine is red. Mm. It is full of mixture. So Esau had a mixed up doctrine, people. Mm-hmm. It was sinful. That's mm-hmm. why he said to send your sins and be a star. Like them giants. Mm-hmm. 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 Starting to see a pattern here. Yes. Yeah. This morning. <laughs> 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 and he poured out of the same. He poured out that same mixture, that, that wicked doctrine. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. That mixture doctrine. Yes. Mm, That's what the wicked is. The wicked is teaching his doctrine. Mm -hmm. All right. Esau is the the doctrine of the powers that be. Yeah. Again. The giant. Isn't it funny? That whenever the story of Moses comes, they continually, whether you are Jewish, Christian, Catholic, Israelite, they all say that man stood on the edge or the bank of that doggone sea, stuck that stick in the water, and it split in half. Mm -hmm. They're all teaching the same doctrine. Mm -hmm. All right? So they've grabbed Esau's heel. (laughs) Y'all see that heel is a doctrine. Mm -hmm. Keep that foot. That's Ecclesiastes 5, 1 and 2. Yes, sir. That foot, that's that's a a doctrine. Let Let me get one more for that red. Revelation 17, 3 and 4. Whole time I thought they was talking about taking your shoes off. Don't <laughs> do us a favor and don't take yours off. Yeah, no, no. You don't need to see How about jam. that? You don't need to see Toe Jam nor Earl. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> hey, what? What's going on, man? It's supposed to be a family show. Man. Have you no charity? None. None, my friend. <laughs> You'll get nothing and like it. <laughs> Read on. Yes, sir. Oh, matter of fact, go back up, go up one, go up one. Because you right. got another number that you were kind of trying to get in. We kind of brought this up earlier. I heard it yes. when I was walking the old pup. Yes. <laughs> Revelation chapter 17 and verse 3. Mm-hmm. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness of sin. Mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast. I showed you earlier that beast was a, a, a false man. prophet. A mm-hmm. false prophet. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes, sir. Full of names. Doctrine. Of Blasphemy is Esau name. Yes, it is called yes. his name mm-hmm. Esau. So he's talking mm-hmm. about his doctrine. A doctrine. Mm-hmm. Having seven heads. Seven is and, a number of completion. Mm-hmm. And ten horns. We're gonna get to it, but ten and six are very similar. Mm-hmm. Ten and six are very similar. So if you understand six, you kind of know what 10 talking about. So, but yes, see, sir. they were completely stupid. Mm-hmm. That's what they're saying because he's got seven heads so they had complete, mm-hmm. uh, a complete adoption full of blasphemy. Yeah, yeah. That's what he's telling them. Yeah, that's what he's describing. The man right. ain't talking about NATO, y'all. <laughs> no. The man ain't talking about NATO. No. Yes, sir. Next verse. Verse three. Verse four. <clears throat> and the woman was arrayed in purple. And what? What? 
in purple. And that purple. <laughs> that old point. That old point. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> right. Yes. And scarlet color. Oh. I like them two brothers, don't I? Yep. Mm. Mm. One of them grabbed one of them's heel. Yep. <laughs> and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand mm-hmm. full of abominations Lies. and filthiness of her fornication. Mm-hmm. I like that. Wow. I like that cup they had them drags in. Them. And them drags in, yep. <laughs> that wicked hmm. Letter Jeremiah 172 and I'm done. Let's deal with this red. I mean, it's purple. It's purple. <laughs> Let's deal with this purple. Yeah, what we can work out, man. <laughs> you know, might be able to teach the people something. Yeah, yeah. You know. Just do what I do, you know. Most I said teach and we gonna teach. Right on. Mm-hmm. Read that out. Letter of Jeremiah, chapter one and verse seventy-two. Mm. And ye shall know them to be no gods <laughs> by the bright purple Wait, that rotted upon them. <laughs> it didn't sound positive. <laughs> No, you didn't, man. <laughs> I, I, I just can't see positive out of that right there, bro. Yeah, sounds uh, really negative. Yes, quite. <laughs> Even offensive. <laughs> yeah. But go ahead, Elder. <laughs> I might say and, that. <laughs> <laughs> and they themselves afterward shall be eaten mm. and shall be a reproach in the country. Mm-hmm. We was saying eating them up. Yeah. Them uh, yours truly. Yes. Yeah. Verse 73. Better therefore is the just man that hath none idols. Them idols like they have painting mm-hmm. painting themselves as their gods and, and angels and Superman Jesus. Yes. Oh Aquaman. Up and away. <laughs> with capes on, on their back and all that good stuff. Tell it. Man. <laughs> Does look cool. Captain Save him though. My handyman. <laughs> Ain't no salvation in it. Tell it, boy. I wanna I wanna be saved. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty bad, man. man. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of pathetic. Mm. <laughs> Should have had your cape on tight that night. All right, let me just let you forty along. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Family show. I know, right? Wait, who's yeah. talking about E forty or the Bible show? <laughs> or he, or he shall be far. From reproach, nobody that's understood what, what he's talking that's about. That's what I'm talking about. That dude is, uh, <coughs> you know, he's the guy that you ask yourself, "What would Jesus do?" You know? Wow, <laughs> and do the opposite of what that guy's doing. Yeah, not not what right. would Nathaniel do? Right, what would Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> what would Jesus do? Gonna pull him two or three on you? <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> that's what right. is right. <laughs> We'll read that again so we can get how old this man was whenever this all went down. Mm-hmm. I got a precept to support uh, what we were talking about, about taking hold on Esau's hill. Okay, whenever, we'll get that uh, next. We got time. Yes, sir. Genesis chapter 25 and verse 26. Mm-hmm. And after that came his brother out mm-hmm. and his hand took hold on Esau's hill. Mm-hmm. And his name was called Jacob. 
That's the second doctrine he came up with. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. Well, he when he came up with these two doctrines, he was at the sixth <coughs> level. Three score is 60. Don't get caught up in the zeros, y'all. He was at the sixth level of understanding. All right? Yes, sir. Neither, neither one of them boys was righteous. All right? It's carnal. Yeah. So he had a lot of wisdom. Don't get, don't get me wrong. Uh, Isaac, you know, he was, turn, he was turning them upside down, opening up wells, all kind of stuff. All right, he had a lot of understanding, a lot of wisdom. All right, but what what script did you have for uh, grabbing that heel? Elder Samuel was uh, referencing this uh, last week, I think Hebrews twelve and fourteen, fourteen through sixteen. Want me to read it? Yes, sir. Hebrews chapter twelve, verse fourteen. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. So this is just reiterating the same point that we've been making over and over again. That in order to see the Lord, you have to have two or three precepts. And that's how you follow the Lord wherever he go. That's yeah. what we've been going over verse 15 looking diligently lest any man fail of the grace of God you're going to fail when you don't take that serious if you don't take the application of Christ's law which is trying to figure out where he gathering that he gathering in the two or three yes so you're going to fail of the grace of God without the application of that Read on. Lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you. In another class, we touched on <clears throat> that following of the angry man, right? The person who hate their brother without a cause, mm -hmm. right? That's mm -hmm. the root of bitterness that's springing up in you that you're going to fail by the grace of God for because you can't justify that with two or three precepts. Read on. And thereby many be defiled. With the women that we were talking about, that the warning in Revelation mm -hmm. say, these are they which are not defiled by women, the doctrines mm -hmm. of these men, the angry men. Read on. Verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator, liar, or profane person, liar, as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. So this is proven that anybody can be Esau if they follow the doctrine of Esau. Mm -hmm. The doctrine of Esau is a fornicator and a profane teacher. That's, yeah. that's who are Esau, not mm -hmm. a person. Not a person. Because if you following Esau... That makes you Esau, just like mm -hmm. it say not all Israel is Israel, because mm -hmm. if you're not doing the works of Abraham, you can't say that you Abraham seed. It's the same thing with Esau. For that morsel of meat, for a little understanding, but, eldest, eldest Samuel was going over this. He me, sold his, he failed the grace of God. Right. I'm done. Let me back up what he said. Proverbs 23 and 3, right behind you, Jariah. Yes, sir. We're going to go down to six. Nope, uh, to eight. Well, we'll skip. We'll start at three. And this is what you said earlier, Elder. I was uh, walking the old pup. The mm -hmm. pup. There we go. Yes, sir. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse three. Mm -hmm. Be not desirous of his dainties. Mm -hmm. 
for they are deceitful meat. There, there it is with that that, 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 that that dainty meat. Yes. That dainty meat, that's what he's talking about. Uh, drop yes, right sir. down to verse 6. Verse 6. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye. They're teaching you to hate mm-hmm. your brother. Bread is wisdom. That's mm-hmm. Matthew 4 and 4 and uh, Sirach 15, 3. Three. Neither, neither desire thou his dainty meats. And you just read we, the scripture before we just showed you dainty meats as deception. He's deceitful. Mm-hmm. Deceitful words. Verse 7. Verse 7. For as he thinketh in his heart so is he evil eat and drink saith he to thee eat and drink my doctrine oh mm-hmm. did you know that uh slavery is in the bible no did you know that so-called quote unquote the white man gonna do this the white man and did this the white man is the reason for your trouble in your life but you killed christ yeah, exactly you just mm-hmm. you kill Christ by following that doctrine, and you kill Christ by hating your brother. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yep. Crucifying. Yep. So, so you eating and drinking that doctrine. Now you become evil, just like him, because mm-hmm. as you yes, think sir. it in your mind, you becoming like him. Mm-hmm. Read. But his heart is not with thee. Verse eight. Verse eight. The morsel which thou hast eaten shalt thou vomit up mm-hmm. and lose thy sweet words. So he's talking about that morsel of meat. That's what he got from, that's what Esau did. He sold it for that morsel of deceitful meat. Mm-hmm. That teaching from Jacob, that lie from Jacob, because Jacob is what? A supplanter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's a liar. Yes. Liar, liar, pants on fire. All right, right. Thank you. all right <laughs> so <laughs> well, <let's, laughs> read that again genesis chapter 25 and verse 26 mm-hmm. and after that came his brother out mm-hmm. and his hand took hold on esau's heel mm-hmm. he started following and, following that uh doctrine read and his name was called Jacob. Name, doctrine. That's the doctrine that a lot of these one west camps and these carnal camps are following. Read. And and Isaac was three score years old when she buried them. Right. So he's he's letting you know that Isaac was uh he didn't have rest whenever he uh, created them doctrines all right he had mm-hmm. reached a point of full understanding that's why both of them was defiled both both of the doctrines mm-hmm. was defiled so don't get caught up in the physical people involved this is a parable or allegory it is using those people to tell an underneath story for your benefit it ain't talking about real people right the physical people can't give you salvation. All right. Esau ain't giving salvation. Uh, Jacob ain't giving salvation. Isaac, he's not giving salvation. Those actual people, them people dead and gone. All right. So you can't get uh, salvation from history about something. Right. <clears throat> but the understanding of the mysteries is where the salvation lies, all right? When the Most High explains Jacob's house, the doctrine he and his 11 sons created, he says they number 66, right? And they became complete when you add Joseph and his doctrines, Manasseh and Ephraim. That adds up to 69, but the most high calls them three score and ten. All right. 
So that's what we discussed earlier whenever uh, Elder Misha asked that question. And we got the sense on that. All right. Some people are like Jeopardy contestants. They pride <coughs> themselves on knowing a lot of facts. A lot of useless facts. That is the Bible definition of a scoffer. They want to be technically right to prove they are the smartest man in the room. Those are the people that use their knowledge to confuse the people to elevate themselves over their brother. Hint, hint. That is not love. That is bondage. The most high call those people light bearers. We did a video called 666 to explain some of this. But what we are teaching today gives you more wisdom on it. 666 is the carnal prophet who may know about the spiritual but doesn't believe in it. In the Bible, there's a story of Solomon receiving 666 prophets. Y'all see that? This is a, yes, a prophecy of today. Solomon is the churches that teach the spiritual doctrine to carnal prophets. We happen to be one of those uh, churches. We want to make it clear we are not the only church teaching this doctrine. We are not lords over the people. No. The Most High gave us a platform and we are using it to teach as many people as will hear us. This prophecy is saying a lot of Jeopardy contestants of Israel <laughs> will learn from those that teach the spiritual doctrine and convert. That's what that's talking about. So we're going to go over here to uh, Second Samuel <laughs> if we can't will something out. Man. Yeah, man, this is uh, it's tough to teach this stuff, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Onward, Christian soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> Them black Christians around now. I'm telling you, boy. They sure hate us, man. <laughs> but don't like us, man. <laughs> read, that, read that for me, Elder. Yes, sir. Second mm -hmm. Samuel chapter 21 and verse 20. Mm hmm. And there was yet a battle in God. Mm -hmm. That's where, where that's where was, uh, Goliath is from. Where was a man of great stature, a, a prophet, giant, that, a, a giant, the giant, the man of renown, <laughs> famous. Yep. Yes. It all comes in full service. Yes. Full circle. Full circle. Every that had on every and six fingers. Mm -hmm. Hold on, man. There was a giant man with six figures on each hand? Yes. <laughs> yes. What you gonna do with that baby finger? Wow. <laughs> Boy, back in the day, we used to call that afflicted. Right. <laughs> <Read on. laughs> and on and on every foot, six toes. Mm -hmm. Four and Twenty in number, mm -hmm. and he also was born to the giant. Okay, so he letting you know them giants. They got kind of doctors. Y'all see that? They all six. Yes, sir. They we used to call them back in the day. Oh, can't get right. Right. All right. That's what the six mean. That's a con of prophet. All right. We gonna go to. Let's see here. There it is. We're going to Judas. 18. No, no, no. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Not Judas. Judges. Sorry about that. You're okay. <laughs> God bless you, brother. You know, man. <laughs> God bless the black Christians. Hey, Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're just not the uh, same old uh, 
prophets we once were, man. I know. <laughs> Started to deteriorate. Thank mm. God they have these young prophets coming up, man. Yeah, <laughs> replace us, man. It's uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Even hey, up man. with the commandments. No. No. Really, <laughs> boy. Oh, you know, no, 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 Yes, sir. Judges chapter 18 and verse 16. Hold on, hold on. Somebody car? No, that's me. Hold up. Oh. Wow. Sounded like a right train. Right. But uh starting the truck up while you're trying to say. I got some back. I got some uh, background noise. Oh, Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Are you using the microwave? <laughs> Go ahead, man. Just, uh... <laughs> got some, having some technical difficulties. Yeah, tell me, man. You can pop that popcorn later. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and read that thing for me. <laughs> yes, sir. Judges, chapter 18 and verse 16. Yes. And the 600 men appointed with their weapons of war. Mm hmm which were of the children of Dan mm -hmm. stood by the entering of the gate. Uh-huh. Gates of prophet. Um, yes. Gates of leaders. Yep. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. And the five men that went to spy out the land went up and came in thither. Mm-hmm. And took the graven image and the ephod and the teraphim and the molten image. Now you see, now it's talking about the, uh, the men that went to spy out the land, right? And they went up, right? Yes, sir. Okay. But then they took the image. So they, right. they were comparing. So they, they come. They getting ready. They getting ready to. They like them. Them those uh, prophets in uh, Genesis six. Yeah. Y'all see that? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. They mixing the doctrine. They mm -hmm. they taking all the doctrines together. Mm -hmm. but this is Dan. Okay. This is the problem. Dan was a wicked doctor. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that? Right? Yes, sir. But go ahead, Elder. Yes, sir. And the priest stood. In the entering of the gate, mm -hmm. with six hundred men that were appointed with weapons of war. And he's talking about the weapons of war. He's talking about verses, scriptures. Mm -hmm. Yes. Verse eighteen. And these went into Micah's house mm -hmm. and fetched. The carved image, the ephod, and the teraphim, and the molten image. Then said the priest unto them, What do ye? So it's talking about whenever, you know, it's it's a it's a story. Uh and Judge is talking about whenever Dan ended up taking that um they ended up taking that uh that graven image and set it up in 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 Dan. All right. Dan was a wicked doctor. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is where they got it from. It's telling yeah. you Dan went from uh righteous to karma. Yep. All right. So they took uh, the carved image, which mm -hmm. probably a, a prophet that they learned from. Yes. Yes. In yes. his, his doctrines. In yeah. his doctrines. And the molten image is a person that was teaching because he got the fire. So he was teaching whatever they were teaching. So they mm -hmm. came to the priest and said, hey, man, so how do you explain this? What do you, mm -hmm. what do you how do you explain this? Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> so you got a pretty uh, decent understanding of what the number six means it's talking about somebody who's got wisdom but they don't necessarily believe right and they're carnal 
they're they're a prophet that's inclined to mix doctrines. They're inclined to mix doctrines. All right. 